My mother, funny thing my mother said to me when I was a little girl, she said to me, she said, Eliana, there are only two types of wives. There is the type of wife who will cut up her children and feed them to her husband. And there's the type of wife who will cut up her husband and feed them to the children. So maybe this isn't a lot of shit after all what my mother, she said to me. I met Lee, my husband Lee, because of my friend Rena. Rena was meeting with American men. She was going to dance club for Western men and she would say to me, come, come meet Americans. You won't believe how much money they will spend. This gave me curiosity for what it would be like in Western club. Club had a little bit of sex atmosphere, I admit. But Lee was not. Lee was in Russia for business reason. He told me he liked Russia. He told me he liked watching switch to free market economy. Is interesting economic experiment taking place on Russian people, he told me. I told him we had word for this for to explain what was happening in politics. Word for privatization and for grabbing put together. Is in Russian it's something like grabization. Lee laughed. I don't know. Hard for me to tell what was love for Lee and what was desire to leave Russia. Very hard for me to tell difference in my emotions. I know it was nice quality. Lee was Canadian. Very nice quality of Lee, Canadian passport. I have in my mind all normal feeling of love toward Lee. But for Toronto persons, I had friend from Russia, Sergei. Uh, not Moscow, outside of Moscow. Taxi driver who I met with here in Toronto. I don't like to think about this stupid, stupid friendship that I had with Sergei. Because it's, uh, it's the worst part of person. It's not a good reflection of myself. Worst part of person making decision from homesick feelings. I don't even like to think about it. I don't like to think about it because of my son Mikhail, Michael. But the person who is mine and not mine, also belonging to Canada, with big, beautiful blue eyes looking at me over the blanket. And later, I'm waiting for them to turn brown. Lee, he talked to a friend who was a doctor. In this man, he says something to Lee about Mikhail's eye. He and Lee are just joking together, and then he says something is like a joke or questioning. It's something like, it's not usual for blue-eyed son with brown-eyed mother and father. It's possible and outside chance are genetic, but not typical. This is why Lee is on his knees, looking at Mikhail so closely when I come home tonight. I know what I should have said to him. I should have said, Lee, you are crazy to say such thing with confidence to him, but I don't. I just stand there and I say nothing. This is my brain that is slow in English language for you. Lee is yelling at me and I'm thinking, I am sorry. Then uh, he pick up Mikhail by the claw and Mikhail's head flew back. Lee is screaming at me, I'm trying to get the baby, and Mikhail is choking and he's yelling, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? I pick up the ashtray and I... I don't know why. I just hit him on the back of the neck. And then he's on ground. And I pick up Mikhail and I bring him to the other room. He's not even crying, he's just looking at me with big eyes. I come back and Lee is on ground and he's, I tell him to get up off the floor, it's cold and dirty. Stupid, why you don't, Shana? Stupid.
you. So, this is not great advertising for Rashford. This won't make you believe me when I say to you that I did love you and I was a happy person with my Canadian husband. <laughs> 